Hi. I hope all of you are staying indoor and you are staying safe. And I also hope you are following all the guidelines. And one such guideline is social distancing. But very interesting thing that with the help of technology, we are very close to each other. And so many things are happening in this very tough time. One is obviously work from home. One is online teaching, learning. So that actually uh, tells us the importance of digital media nowadays. And that also talks about the digital marketing, that is the using of digital media by different companies. Now, when you talk about digital media, just think of one particular day in your life. Fine, maybe now or before Corona outbreak. Can you think of a day without your laptop or your mobile phone? Think of newspaper, think of uh, food delivery, think of going somewhere with the help of a cab. You always look at your mobile, For, even forget about the laptop or desktop. The mobile becomes a very important part in our life. And what do you do on mobile? First thing is you search for information. And for that, what do you do? You go to Google. Google has become almost a generic term for us. Although there are many other search engines, although Google is not the first search engine, but Google has become a very, very common term, or I should say a common element in our life. So what do you do on Google? Suppose you don't know about any particular thing. So you go to Google, you type, and you get the results. Fine. We consider that as keyword. So we give different keywords, and keywords can also vary. It can be a short keyword, it can be a long keyword. For example, I hope uh, you have done that quite often in your, in your life. That suppose you want to know about a certain place because you want to go for a vacation. You type that particular place. Say, Gangtok, say Darjeeling, say Venice. So you type, and if you type just the name of that place, in all uh, probability you are going to get a Wikipedia page on that. But if you want to specify the objective, suppose you, you want to mention that tourism or travel to Venice, you will find out different names of hotels or, or restaurants or resorts, homestays. Now you can go for further uh, what we say that narrowing the keyword. For example, if you mention the budget hotel in Gantok or budget hotel in Sikkim or you mention the homestay in Sikkim or you mention the resort in Sikkim or you mention that adventure course in Sikkim, you will get different results. And if you want to make it uh, more specific like like not Sikkim or if you mention Lachen, so you'll find out more specific results. So that is a very, very important thing in our life. And that's why Google does not take any money from you, but Google has become a multi-billion dollar company. Why? Because the companies want to utilize this particular thing. Fine. So that's why what, what you do. When you go for a key, such keyword search, you'll find a lot of results. Technically, that is called SERP that is search engine result page and if you see that minutely you will find out top of that list or sometimes it can also come uh, at the right side it is mentioned ad or sponsor those links are called sponsor links that means the companies must have paid Google so that their names should come at the top of the list and obviously that is the source of revenue of Google. Try to understand that's a huge deviation from as a company like Microsoft where you have to buy Microsoft's products. Microsoft earns from customers and consumers. It's a subscription model. But what model Google follows or what model Facebook follows? They don't take money from the customers or consumers. What they do? They actually create uh, contents or they create an opportunity where you will come, you will use and with that particular traffic, they can tell the advertisers, why don't you use our property? Why don't you advertise your products to these people? And take the example of YouTube. Maybe seven, eight years back, you have never seen advertisements on YouTube. Now, almost every, ad every YouTube video, you see that. And many of us are very disturbed with these advertisements. But still, we go to YouTube. Yes, there are other options like Vimeo, Dailymotion. But still you go to YouTube. Why? Because a huge collection of videos. And again, the companies which give advertisements, they earn from that. Or you can earn also on your own. 
suppose if you create a very exciting content you create your own youtube channel and you keep on posting and very soon you might have a lot of subscribers very soon you might get thousands of views and then also you'll start getting money from uh, from youtube which is owned by google nowadays and they are actually going to share the money that they have got from the advertisements or advertisers who have paid for the advertisements which were shown during your videos so that is another way you can earn money and in this particular lockdown time you can think of some such unique contents like say cooking <clears throat> painting or if you know how to strum guitar you can have an online uh, guitar uh, uh, training sessions and you can earn money if your quality uh, of content is good if it is engaging so you can earn money so that is the very interesting part of digital marketing that you don't have to run a multi billion dollar organization you don't have to run a very sophisticated studios there are many videos you can find on youtube which are shot at the home and they get huge views and the the people who own that particular youtube channel so they also earn a lot so that is the importance of a digital marketing nowadays and it's everywhere whatever you do you will find out the implication of uh, digital marketing and another very important part which is important uh, for their activities is that they also closely watch you and again how to understand a very simple thing i'll give you two examples one example when you start typing on google you'll find out lot of a uh, lot of options come and you find out those options actually are going to help you how do they understand that because they must have gone through many many such searches and they understand that if you write biri there is a huge possibility that you are looking for biryani not something else another very interesting way to understand this is if you look at the youtube and youtube recommendations whenever you go to youtube and you log in with your id so what actually happens you find a lot of recommendations and how these recommendations come and i can i can also tell you another thing you ask some other person to log in suppose you log out from your own youtube account and you ask somebody to log in uh, with his or her id on the same laptop or desktop or even mobile you will find out this is different set of recommendations because they have understood what kind of searches usually you go on youtube with the help of your id so very very important for them because they understand your pattern the the kind of things you you like you you love to watch on basis of that they place the advertisements so that is a very very important thing when you talk about these recommendations recommendations actually tell us that they also they know what kind of things we like and how is it possible because they track our movements same thing for facebook when you are on your uh, facebook profile you sometimes you find those sponsor links and again sponsor links would differ if the same uh, same facebook the same mobile or same laptop is somebody else is using with his or her id he or she will get in all probability he or she will get a different thing so that is a very very important thing fine and try to understand the power of google so what uh, search engine you use google what video you use google when you are going for a cab booking or something what do you go for google map is there fine when you are using uh, when you are using a mobile phone if it is not an apple phone what os you are using you are using android fine most of us use chrome now all are owned by google so what happens whatever you are doing so somehow there is a digital trace or some sort of footprint that you are having and actually google is following that and that is an advantage for us in many cases you don't have to type the entire thing it is uh, coming automatically but there is another problem or there is another issue that, that is very important that google is following it following you or following us but that's how google earns that's how uh, facebook earns and if you look at facebook again facebook whatsapp instagram so you understand that that's the network when we are in so this is the reason why you should understand digital marketing how it happens we have to appreciate it and obviously when you are working in a company when you are working in a company you have to understand how these things happen and if you have some products if you have some services with you you can also earn money through it 
So that's in nutshell what is digital marketing. I hope you have understood. It's a vast field, but it's a very interesting field. You should understand more and more and more, and you should enjoy it. Okay, thanks.